What's going on YouTube? This is the Elemental Maker and I need a bigger workbench. That little one over there just isn't cutting it anymore. So let's go ahead and make one. Alright, so here's the uh, tabletop that I got at work for the fair, fair price of free 99 um, all I had to do was move it and this is one of the uh, old workbenches out of the clean rooms They do a lot of uh, medical device assembly at my work. So they uh, they were tossing this thing These workbenches sell new for about uh, for, I looked it up on Granger. They were about nine hundred dollars give or take a bit um, And obviously this one isn't perfect. You know, it's got uh, Whatever the heck that is in it over to the right there. That's some marring and you know it ain't perfect I like that pretty black thing back there but this will make one hell of a nice workbench and it's pretty damn strong stuff I don't think I'll be able to screw this up for quite a long time and if I do I can fill in the holes with epoxy so that's kinda nice Just look at this hot and gooey Chinese goodness. My god, the quality you get from Harbor Freight is just astounding. Such, such lifelong tools. Lifetime guarantee my ass. <laughs> Good thing I got this for free, otherwise I might be a little mad. Well, I managed to mess it up again. Uh, you know that saying, measure twice, cut once. I go by the rule, measure 16 times, cut twice. Because, uh, not so good at woodworking. <laughs> anyway, so that uh, little bit of overhang that I left here, accidentally, that's a half inch on both sides. That should have been out here flush so basically my table instead of being 72 inches wide is now 73 so I have the option of one buzzing this off or doing that same thing there up here on the main cross brace which I think I'm gonna end up going with because I don't have any kind of router or tool that can really uh, make that depth of cut there and keep it flush so gonna have to uh, run a cross brace 
across my pretty top, which, you know, kind of sucks. But yeah, if uh, if it's woodworking, I'll, I'll manage to screw it up. I will manage to screw it up. But yeah, all learning experiences. I really don't work with wood much. I'm more a, uh, a metal kind of guy, as you can tell by this mill, soon to be converted to CNC. And the mill back behind it there, the uh, old Burke Millwright, Burke Powermatic, I think it is. Good old machine there. And then I'll have my CNC up here. So, yeah, I'll stick to metal from now on, metal and electronics. But uh, fun learning a little bit of wood too. So at this point it's pretty much all wrapped up. Still a couple finishing items to uh, top it off with. Putting some wood putty where the screws are. Uh, maybe staining it. Putting a coat of uh, some sort of clear coat over it, whether it's true oil or uh, maybe some linseed oil, something along those lines, just to keep it fresh and keep my garage smelly. So that's the workbench. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you disliked it. And uh, leave a comment, like, rate, whatever you want to do.